Hi, this is Debbie with a video for this week's case study, and this is the gorgeous card by Kathy Rakusin that we're working on this week. I loved all the circle elements on Kathy's card and the horizontal piece going across with the popped up focal point. I'm working on a top folding Nina Desert Storm card base, three and a half by five inches, and a marshmallow panel, and I wanted to create um, a corner of interest on that panel. I'm using the new stencil by Simon Says Stamp. That's the ring cluster stencil and I wanted to show you how I do my embossing paste backgrounds. I take um, a piece of scrap card um, rather than using a spatula and just fold it so that I can scoop some of the paste out onto my stencil area. I tape the stencil down to my card panel and I'm um, scooping out a little piece there and scraping it across. I keep it very casual, very rough and ready. Um, I think it adds a nice texture um, and not being too perfect is actually a nice thing. Once I've finished applying my embossing paste, I scrape the remains back into the jar for use another time and then throw away the piece of scrap card. I wanted to create some more texture so um, I'm using a wood grain background stamp from Hero Arts, their designer wood grain, and I've applied Versamark and then I'm pressing that down into the embossing paste to create um, another texture. I think it was Lisa Spangler I saw do something similar to this once before. You do get some embossing paste on your stamp, but the Versamark helps to resist that, and um, by um, brushing it with a firm bristled brush in some water, you quickly remove the embossing paste, and I give the same treatment to the stencil to clean everything up. And there hopefully you can see that little bit of uh, wood grain texture in, this, in the embossing paste. I'm using Long Thorn's wonderful new set into the woods uh, for my focal points. And I've taken the log image from the set and I'm inking it in Hero Arts Soft Brown. And I want to create a gradient. So I'm then taking Hero Arts Cup of Joe and I'm going to ink what will become the base of the log. Um, to make it slightly darker. I'm just catching the base of the log with the dark brown ink. The image is stamped beautifully but I'm using the Fisker stamp press anyway. It's my favourite to be able to get a good impression. And then I'm going to quickly fussy cut that log out. I'm using the adorable fox image from the set now, inking that in Memento Tuxedo Black as I'm going to use some alcohol markers to colour them in. Again using my Fisker stamp press to get a good impression. Now I usually use Copic markers to do my colouring but I didn't have any foxy colours in my Copic so I also have some Pro markers and I'm using um, Pro markers in Gold, Amber, Pumpkin and Spice and um, I've sped this part of the video up. I started with the lightest colour which was gold and then I'm adding in some depth in the amber the and the pumpkin and the spice each colour and then working back down through the paler colours until eventually we're back down to the gold. I always leave some white areas on my image until right at the very end when I give the last layer of the lightest colour and this helps to give the gradient of um, shading throughout the image. We're working back now through, um, I think that's probably amber, and then this last layer is where I start colouring in over the white areas with the lightest colour and giving the final blend. Um, this is Copic R11 I think, and just putting a little bit in the ears there, and then a tiny touch of grey, uh, that's T1, to his face and tail. Now I did actually go over the lines a couple of places so I'm just using a blender pen to get rid of those um, little bits over the line and then fussy cutting him out. I think he's so cute. Just in case he's not adorable enough I'm just adding a little bit of Zig Wink of Stella in the shaded areas just to give a little bit of sparkle. And hopefully you'll be able to see that if I hold it up to the camera. And just catch a tiny bit of the subtle glitter that gives. Now I've got my top folding card base which is three and a half by five and I'm cutting my panel of embossing paste panel down um, to fit on that and I've got my log and my fox and the final piece I want is a little speech bubble which I've inked in Hero Arts Cup of Joe 
and I'm stamping that out and fussy cutting again. I'm going to round the top corner of the card um, to fit in with the inspiration card from Kathy Rukusin. And then finally I'm going to pop everything up onto foam adhesive. The wetness of the embossing paste can make the panel warp slightly, so I've put plenty of foam adhesive underneath the panel. Finally, I'm setting the log flush to the right hand side of the panel and adding on the fox to sit on top of the log. I've added one foam square to his body which will sit on the log and two foam squares to his head because that will sit onto the card panel. And then the final addition is the little hello bubble. And there you have my card. Here's a final look at the inspiration from Cathy. I hope you get a chance to join us at Case Study this week.